Hi guys, welcome back. So, I wanted to record this video, and I couldn't figure out a way to do it on my desk because I don't have enough desk space. So here we are, on the floor. Because my birthday present is here, from last year. <laughs> As some of you guys know, Terraforming Mars is my all-time favorite game. I love it. And, um, it's just been like this growing obsession with Terraforming Mars. I had actually bought it for a friend of mine for Christmas a few years back, maybe, ooh, what year did it come out? I think it was the year after it came out, so whenever that was, ooh, I'm bad with dates. But I got it for one of my best friends, and we played it all the time. And then he ended up buying it for me, and then we keep buying each other expansions and having issues of somebody else buying the expansion for them before we buy the expansion for them. And it just turns into a whole debacle. But then they came out with this fella over here, who I'll show you in just a second. And it was a Kickstarter, and I sent my friend the link, and his immediate response was, don't buy that. To which I said, why? To which he replied, happy birthday! So, this was my birthday present from last year, and it was a Kickstarter, so it only got here now, which is hilarious, because it got here just in time for my birthday for this year, because my birthday's in just under a month. So, haha, <laughs> a year late, here's your present. <laughs> but, I thought it would be fun if we put this together, together. So here we are. I have most of the expansions for Terraforming Mars. I don't have all of them. I don't have colonies, I think is the only one I don't have. Maybe there's another one. I don't know. But I fit most of them in the Terraforming Mars box rather than keeping them in all their separate boxes. Turmoil is the only one that doesn't really fit. And because I don't play it as often, I just keep it in here. I feel like that works fine. But we'll start by opening these up and just setting them aside. Actually, maybe I'll just leave that one. But here is the terraforming Mars. Big box. Ta-da! So I guess, from what I understand, there's not a lot in the box. But the box will hold the game and all the expansions and everything to do with it. So, I'm super stoked. I don't know where I'm going to put this because clearly it takes up more than twice the space of the original box, which is where I was keeping most of the stuff in. But, you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. So let's see what's inside. Ooh, goodies. Okay, okay, okay. So these are domes that'll go on the cities. Focus. Right now it just looks like an igloo, but it's a dome, and it'll fit on the city tiles because, well, let's open a city tile thing then. So the big box came with pieces for the cities, so your little player cube fits in here, and then the dome fits on top, like that. Cute. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, and there's still like a space for the, for your tile, your tile, your cube to fit. That's really cool. Oh, these feel pretty nice too. I know my friend said there aren't enough domes 
to cover all of the city tiles, but we figured you probably don't need domes to cover every single city anyway, because at some point the oxygen will be high enough that you won't have to have a dome, that is. That's really cool though. That looks super fun. Yes, I am just going to put the domes on all of these cities before we go any further. <laughs> it's satisfying. Oh, I have an extra. I assume there's more. Oh, no, there's more cities. bunch more cities. There's like a few different city layouts too. So they're not all like the exact same thing. I think that's kind of cool. I like that. I like having the actual like 3D cities. I think this will make Mars look really cool by the time you're done and not just look kind of silly. I mean it just always looks flat, you know. It never really looks any different. It just now looks like it's covered in tiles. So these are the greenery tiles. Interesting, they're like a different texture. So these two have that, that nice little spot for your cube. And they've got the nice like green texture and it looks like you can make like, oh my god, you can make like craters with the um, the brown parts. <laughs> yes, that was very descriptive, I know. So there's a ton of brand new tiles. Go ahead and pull all of those out. What's this? Ooh, I'm going to have to like look up and find out what some of these things are because I don't know. These must be the ocean tiles though. Look how cool. They actually look like water now. That's really fun. What are these? Oxygen, Venus, Cool. Oh, and I wonder if this fits on here. Hmm, somehow. Oh my gosh, it's like a little mushroom cloud. Look at that. Look how cool. <laughs> I highly doubt that, that can stay on there for storage. And there's like a crater, there's a volcano. <laughs> Dropping pieces, you know. This is really cool though. I guess this just adds like a lot of um, like unique tiles for stuff. Where before there weren't that many unique tiles. I think I think my friend said these were for if you don't want to use some of these. I don't remember which ones he said, so I will have to look it up. And these are for um, something to do with the deck. We'll get there. Okay, so this piece here should fit some of our tiles. So let's just start fitting. And we'll see what happens. That could sit in there. That doesn't look silly at all, right? <laughs> Did these go in here too? I don't know. Let's start with cities. Let's start with cities on the other side. That have domes first, maybe. Oops. Well, 
I just accidentally pull all of the domes off of the cities. I mean, they're not like super secure. They are cute though, and I do like them. And I think that was like an add-on, so that was actually very nice of him to get those for me too. I do find it interesting that like the the texture of the cities versus the texture of like the um, the ocean tiles and the greenery tiles is totally different. Interesting. Okay, so what is, does this fit like these guys? somewhere? I'm very confused. I know he said it would be confusing because it doesn't tell you where anything goes. And that is kind of, kind of frustrating. Like, it would have been nice if they would have given a, like, instruction manual. Okay, so these can fit together into shapes, and we're going to make it happen. This is just a really cool setup. I'm glad that they did little details like this. Because that's a very cool idea to have where you can... That doesn't fit. Where you can kind of make shapes on Mars and make it be like there was stuff there before. I don't know. It's just cool. I like it. And now I'm like running out of patience. So I just kind of want to fill everything in. <laughs> this one down here. I think this guy's just got to be like filled with greeneries. Because I don't think there's enough um, space for anything else, but I can't really tell, so we'll find out. Okay, so then there's like five more slots, I don't know what those are for. <laughs> Maybe there's more things down there. We'll find out. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have done this backwards. Will this fit on this one? Oh good. So this one has to go on here because these don't fit over the domes, I think is what it is, something. Anyway, this didn't fit on the other tray. I don't know why, but it didn't. Piece of foam. I think... This looks like something for colonies. 
new cards and card dividers. That's cool. Money trays, I think. Oof. Gotta move. Butts asleep, y'all. I never sit on the floor. I don't know how else I would have sat for this, even for doing it by myself. Not on video. I don't know how I would have sat for this. Okay. Let's open up the base game so that we can get to the components. So these are the two boards, and I know that these fit on top of this tray, like this. I know that much. Okay. So we won't need the city tiles, we'll need some of these. Money, white cubes, blue cubes. So I actually have these wooden overlays that I'm pretty positive are not going to fit in the big box, which is sad because they're really nice, I really like them. But at the same time I get it because I got, them, I got them off Etsy. So, of course, the company, Stronghold Games, is not going to want you to have stuff from Etsy inside their big box. But I really like those overlays. I know Stronghold eventually made overlays for this game, but I don't think that they're very realistic. And I don't like These are nice though. I like having these. These are little, these are just little trays to hold the player cubes. This is my usual color. I play red. I used to always play black, but sometimes we would lose my cubes on the board. <laughs> so I usually play red. I don't actually recommend playing this game with more than three players. Just in general, I don't think it plays as well. I think maybe I just like, because I think this is for the money, so I think I'm just gonna like straight up split it. Right? Because this has to be like. This has to be like two trays for money. Hoppers are just a mess, so we'll just do some and some here.
think at this point we probably move on to cards. And I know that this holds the cards, because what else would this hold? Phone pieces, obviously. <laughs> okay, where did I put these? So these guys, if I'm recalling correctly, are the dividers for when I set all the other cards in here. And I don't actually know this is columns. What's that? I don't know. Oh, this must be base game. And that's columns. But I actually, I will also make another recommendation to you. If you play Terraform Mars, or if you have the game, just get the um, Corporations expansion and just mix it in. It comes with the base game. Just mix it in and leave it that way. This game plays so much better with corporations than it does without. Can I put this this way? I want to put it this way to signal the end. And then... Then let's put in Venus, I think. These are all just Venus cards. Another Venus place this way. So this other Venus one will go this way. And then... Okay. Turmoil events. I have turmoil cards. And I have turmoil corporations. Corporations, the like explanation cards, and then a few cards that I've just taken out of the game because I find that the game works better without a me. So those I'm just gonna stick over here on the end. Then these are the Venus corporations. These are standard corporations. And these are the turmoil corporations and the little party cards. Political party. Not like, not like we have in a party. decide how I want this. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'm going to change the subject. I'm going to use these here. And I use this one to signal like that. These are blanks. Okay. These are new. We won't get into those yet. Okay, so I just did Venus. Let's go ahead and add in Prelude. Just these. And then I think I'm actually going to go back in time. Over here. So stick these white cubes here so I don't get confused. And I'm going to put all of the corporations here. Is that how I want it? It says 
two little dividers here, so I could do standard corporations, Venus corporations, turmoil corporations. And then go straight into Venus from there. And then prelude. And then we can jump into turmoil. events and then for now I'm just gonna stick the new cards in here like that I'll stick the extras back there and I think I think that's everything here's the rest of these the rest of these okay now I don't know where anything else goes So it's at this point that I find myself uncertain where these pieces belong. And I know that this is supposed to be for colonies, but I kind of want to stick other stuff in it because I don't have colonies. I could probably stick... Well, I think expansion stuff's supposed to go on the bottom. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking three white cubes in there. That's all for that. These are new tiles. This is where this guy goes. These are not gonna fit because they're bought elsewhere. Oops. This is the Venus board. These are the standard player mats. I think these all fit here as well the turmoil ones. Cool. Okay. So maybe this little bag of tiles fits here. And then I could be cute. I could be cute and stick my old greenery tiles and stuff in here and then stick that there. <laughs> Don't judge me. These are the rule books. I think the turmoil one is in this pile still. There it is. Okay, so then these will go here. Cool. Um, that, I'm gonna pull these out. Because... These are the old ocean tiles which I think I'll put on the bottom. These are things I don't need, so I'm going to put those on the bottom as well. These are tiles that will be used. That's a pointless tile. These are for Venus. I'm thinking these things I can put them in this bottom thing here. But these things things that I will use, I can put there. So this tray could be like my tray of random crap. So like things I probably won't use. Tiles for expansions. And then maybe pieces. And like I said, I don't play Turmoil very often. It just, it lengthens the game, but doesn't add a whole lot of, like, interest to it, in my opinion. So, now we can make everything fit back inside the bag. 
big box. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so nice. Have everything in one place. <laughs> everything in one box. I mean, what a novel idea. Okay, that's not gonna fit in yet. And we have the tray that has the cities and the ocean tiles and all that. And then, last but not least, the tray with the... This is going to be so much easier if I just take the boards off the top. <laughs> the tray with the greenery tiles. Boards. The rule book. But not least, of course, the lid, which is sideways or backwards. Backwards. Got it. <laughs> that was fun. I'm so excited to have all of this and actually have everything for Terraforming Mars in one nice location. Now to find a home for it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week with a whole new video. Bye.